Till they tore their tools to pieces, laid them underneath the grass There won't be another like you I stumbled on you sitting on a bench beside the bank But I've never had a damn watch before the old town went to sleep Could he spare a little land? He said I found it when I got it It's because of histamines This is histidine and histamine is a decarboxylated form of histidine. When allergen comes into the body and attaches to antibodies on a B cell, antibodies are released into the bloodstream. When these antibodies attach to a mast cell and recognize the allergen, histamines are released into the system. There are four histamine receptors. We will explain about H1 receptors, which are responsible for allergic reactions. When we take an allergy medicine, antihistamines, they interact with a G protein coupled receptor to relieve allergic symptoms. Activated G-protein coupled receptors release G-protein, inducing a chain reaction. In absence of agonists, G-protein coupled receptor is an equilibrium between active and inactive state. When histamines are in the system, the equilibrium is shifted toward the active state, causing allergic symptoms. On the other hand, when we take antihistamines, the equilibrium is shifted toward inactive state and, therefore, allergic symptoms are reduced. So what made Jay suffer from those side effects? First generation antihistamines lack selectivity due to its hydrophobicity. They easily cross over the membranes and randomly bind to both histamine and non-histamine receptors. More specifically, those that cross blood-brain barrier bind to receptors in the brain and cause side effects like headache and drowsiness. Like first-gen antihistamines, Margaret reaches to any snacks around her. She does not care whether or not they are healthy for her. Therefore, the second gen was developed with higher selectivity. By increasing hydrophilicity, the second gen reduces side effects of first gen through enhanced selectivity. Also, increased hydrophilicity enables better dissolution of antihistamines in the bloodstream, thereby increasing their half-lives. However, some parent drugs of second generation exhibited lethal cardiac toxicity. For this reason, the third generation active metabolites of the first generation antihistamines were invented. Third gen are not only reported to be free of cardiac toxicity, but also have better selectivity and half-lives. Hello, this is Dr. An, and I developed these new antihistamine drugs specifically selected for each symptom. Unlike previous antihistamines, you can take the pills that matches your symptoms. Yay! Oh, she's not a